Get to the Farm. Hi, it's Sue with Get to the Farm. So it was such a beautiful spring, I decided to break all the rules and plant my potatoes early. Look at April, hitting 60s and 70s. It was so beautiful. I was getting desperate to get out and do something. So in May, I kept an eye on the calendar and it started not being so cold. I mean, we had spurts of cold, so I knew it was still a little early, but shortly thereafter, and it was really looking nice. So I went ahead and prepped my garden bed in mid-May, and I think it was the 19th we planted. Now they are mulched deeply in straw. So when we went in and did our garden bed, we pulled off straw and fluffed the bed. Then we came back in and put a new layer of straw on top of it. The whole family was out working. We planted potatoes and onions. That's the early crop here in Montana. You can get out radishes and things like that as well. Just got all my boys out to work for me. My garden beds are made, um, they're about 20 foot square and they're made with a, a terrace of tires. Uh, I live on a slope of a hill and that enables me to get a flat garden bed and that's all prepared soil inside there. Well, everything was beautiful. The nights were staying in the 40s. It was just gorgeous. Here's some beautiful little starts, popping out of the ground, going along in that beautiful spring weather. The old timers always tell you not to plant your potatoes until Memorial Day or the last weekend in May, no matter how the weather looks. And I got punished for that because on Saturday, June 2nd, it frosted to 31 degrees and I lost my potato top starts. Um, a lot of you followers have heard me complaining about that, but I thought I'd do you an update on what they look like. The onions don't care. The onions just keep trucking right along and the weeds. So hopefully some were covered with the straw and would be able to come up. So then we come along into June itself, and June had gorgeous weather. There were a few cool nights. Were they gonna come back? Are they gonna make it? And carefully, and then sprouts. Sprouts all over. So they made it through. I was prepping this video on the morning of July the 3rd. I was in town working on the video. I was showing you how great they've recovered from the frosting. And then I got a text from my family. Bad news. And I said, frost and he said yes and i looked and the weather said it was only 38 degrees but not at the farm here is my beautiful plants all withered from the frost they kind of look all right that first day but the question is would they make it so I sent him down the next day to take a look. Look at all those shriveled potato plants in the bed. Hopefully they have enough energy to put up some starts from the bottom. There's plenty of lamb's quarters everywhere though. Ha, at the very least we'll be having spinach. But yes, you can see that potatoes are popping up. Maybe some will. Thanks for visiting. Like, comment, and share. And if you're not already, 
hit the big red button below to follow us. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm. <laughs>